you, Richard. How are you? Hey, Free. I'm good. How are you? What's what's new and exciting with you? I'm inside. That feels new and very exciting. That's rare. <laughs> I know my hair is not blowing all over the place. It's kind of awesome. Nice day out there, though. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I think that I was hearing that we're going to have some rain a little bit later. So. It seems like every day now we get a bit of rain in the afternoon. That's the way it seems to be going. But we'll take the nice heat. I think. I have two rhododendrons that have never bloomed, and I'm not a gardener, but they're both blooming. So I, I think yeah. it's got to be something about the weather. Good weather. The gardens like the rain and the heat. No question yeah. about that. Uh, listen, this story. Always, these, whenever we do stories like this, it completely burns me. I know it burns a lot of Canadians. The banks yeah, are making so much money, and are letting a lot of people go. Royal Bank in the last three months, Avery, just in the last three months, they made a profit of 2.8 billion. That profit was uh. up nine percent. So what did they do? They let go of the people. Of course they do. 450 job cuts, mainly at the head office here in Toronto. Now, our RBC does point out that they're hiring others in digital jobs. But the fact of the matter is, Canadian banks on a whole have announced more than 5,000 job cuts over the past three years at the same time that all of them have been reporting record profits. Now, the situation is, though, that banks are replacing people with machines. And yeah. we're seeing that in all sorts of industries. But it's easy to do that with a lot of finance jobs. So that's why the banks are letting go of uh, certain types of people. But it's hard to swallow Avery when they're reporting, you know, yearly profits topping $10 billion. That's crazy. Uh, we know the price of oil is dropping again. In fact, it's, it hasn't been this bad uh, since the oil, since the first half of this year this bad. The We're last time with oil had a first half of the year this bad, Avery, Jean Chrétien uh, and his Liberal Party won a second majority. Uh, Hansen's <laughs> Umbop was blazing to the top of the charts. Yes. And I don't know, where are you? Where were you? This is 1997, Avery. Uh, my son was two years old. You know how you gauge everything? Yeah. But, well, yeah. you gauge everything by the year his kids were born. So my, my eldest was two. Yeah, see, this is well best. So oil lost 20% of its value through the first six months of this year, the worst six months since 1997. We're down to $42.53 per barrel, a 10 month low for the price. This is not good for Bay Street because of all the energy companies on there. And that's why the TSX Avery at its lowest level of the year. Gas prices, though, uh, Avery, they are going down only a penny uh, at midnight tonight, despite the drop for oil, and that'll bring the average down to a dollar five point nine a liter. Okay, well, uh, you know, a business report with you is never complete without a little bit of food or a little bit of talk about booze. So let's talk about booze. <laughs> LCPO okay. is extending work hours, and it's because of strike fears. I don't get the correlation. Yes, well, so, you know, we could see a, a strike at yeah. the LCBO on Monday. They're getting set to hit the br bricks, the 8,000 unionized workers. So the LCBO is extending hours as a result. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, select stores will be open from 9 a.m. until 11 PM. They're and trying to this, get all the sales in as quick as possible? Is that what it every, is? Everyone's going in to stock up, right? Because okay. they could be on strike for Canada Day and everything. Oh. Some downtown stores, Avery, will be open at 9 a.m. in support of Pride as well. And this Sunday, stores will be open 11 till 6, which is extended hours for a Sunday. Uh, the uh, employees, they're looking for greater assurances about full-time positions from management because 84% of LCBO workers are currently part-time. So we'll keep an eye on this one. All right. So are you planning a vacation this summer? Are you taking time Next off? week. You're getting well, Where are you going to go? Uh, well, I'm not taking a page out of Avery Haynes's uh, <laughs> vacation book. I'm not going to North Korea or Iraq. Okay. I'm going down to St. Martin to uh, uh, check beautiful. out all the planes landing and check out that place. So that should be cool. That's amazing. Um, you got to budget for it, though, you know, Avery. A lot of people, they plan their summer vacation, but they don't plan financially for it. A new report out finding that uh, the average worker spends 10% of their annual income on vacation, but 55% neglect to include that cost in budgets. 75% say they've gone into debt because of vacation, with the average debt coming in at 1100 bucks. And recovering from that splurge takes six months on average. Wow. So you got to be careful when you plan your vacation. All right. Well, that's good. Did you plan yours? Have you budgeted for it properly? Uh, a little bit. I've been sort of slowly buying the money when I watch where the dollar is, where the Canadian dollar is. So I've been trying to do that. Okay. I'm good. trying to be good. All right. Good. I always do the same thing. And also, you also underestimate how much it's going to cost because then you that's get there true. and you end up spending stuff that you hadn't sort of bargained yes. for. Um, okay. So on a nice day like today, a lot of people would rather be at the park than sitting here inside at our desks. Now, yep. there's a gadget that can make that happen. 
the desk swing, Avery. This could be the, <laughs> this is the new fun thing. Push me higher, Avery. This is the desk swing uh, called the hover uh, desk swing, actually. The designers claim it burns calories and improves cardiovascular health. Oh, they please. claim it. Uh, <laughs> they claim I, it you're burns. not getting a workout doing that, are you? Yeah, it's fun, you know. It's swinging around. They say it burns as many calories as walking leisurely for 45 minutes over the course of the day. Costs 45 bucks for the desk swing. You think that Rogers would bring that in here? We'll pitch that idea. I'm not sure if they'll go for that or not. We'll I pitch think that, that you to can the pitch powers that. that. I'm, I'm leaving you on your own. <laughs> Richard, thanks so much. They might so be much. swinging me out of here. Thanks, Avery. <laughs> All right, Richard.